Marcus Ewan Wilson and Jonathan Brown, Jack Leeson, Jack New, Marcus Pett and Aaron Mills. That's the top 26. And uh, they're still going. Scott Simmons and Matthew Armstrong on row 14. Scott Hughes and Ayrton Hurst on row 15. Row 16, Colin Smith and Thomas O'Regan. Scott Jackson and Frank Bird on the penultimate row and starting at the back. I hope that they are all there. I'll have a quick check. Stephen Birdass is there in cart number 26. And well, Davy Shepard was having all sorts of issues in qualifying and the first race in that number 55 MLC cart. And what is that? That is Tom Sharp Reynolds in the cart that is due to start second, struggling to catch the field. Now, will they get a clean start the first time of asking? If they do, oh, let's have a look. What's Tom doing? Nope, it's too late now, Tom. If they don't go round again, and uh, Brett Ward looks like he wants to make sure they don't because he's bringing them at a very sedate pace. But, uh, oh, they do go round again, and Davy Shepard is there. Now, look at uh, Tom Sharp Reynolds slide his way through the pack, through the plumes of exhaust smoke under the bridge. He will regain P2 on the grid. So, it's the German-built Mark Mach 1 on pole position. The OTK Cosmic on the outside of row 1. British-built Gillard and the Gold Cart, which is made by, well, obviously associated with Jade Cart, based near Shennington on row 2. Then the Haas from Parts Unknown and the Alonso of Josh Collings. Mark Litchfield on a Birrell ART. A whole flurry of Tony carts. There's an Intrepid, a Mad Croc, and a few more bits and bobs down towards the back. Brett Ward once again brings them very, very sedately. Actually, have we... Uh, had a bit of a... What's going on there? Oh, I mean, that was very noble of Brett Ward, but uh, it was Derek Morgan who took that start in pole position with Brett Ward sitting behind him. Now, Ward should have been on pole. Morgan, whether Morgan felt that uh, Brett Ward was going too slowly or had no choice, I do not know, but uh, ah. we'll try again. And poor old Tom Sharp Reynolds still trying to regain his place on the front row of the grid. And uh, Danny Curl, <laughs> not wanting him to do that. Now Sharp Reynolds gets there and he actually pulls away from the rest of the field a little bit. Obviously he'll have to slow back down. I wonder if he's afraid. If that cart has struggled to get going once, Tom Sharp Reynolds is probably concerned that uh, if the cart bogs down too much, it won't get going again. Brett Ward is unconcerned with that because Brett Ward had his own, has his own game plan and he is going to stick to it because for the third time now, he brings the capacity grid very, very slowly around the Mike Wilson complex. into the tram lines and now the lights go out and we're off and racing and after all that Brett Ward gets jumped by the outside pole man who had all sorts of difficulties and Tom Sharp Reynolds takes the lead well Tom Sharp, Sharp Reynolds he was probably thinking as soon as Brett goes I'm just going because I don't know if the cart will stall and it worked out Pretty well, but Brett Ward now back in front. Tom Sharp Reynolds tries to cross over, and he's in danger of losing second place to Derek Morgan, although he hangs on to it at the second hairpin. Oh, now this doesn't look too clever going into second hairpin. And one driver with a problem is Danny Curl. Curl 
in the 65 Jade Carts machine, slow, briefly off track. And Curl, second in the intermediate classification. Well, does he continue? Oh, and Derek Morgan slices across the front of Tom Sharp Reynolds going out to the Bruno Ferrari S's and there was tyre smoke as the front right wheel of Sharp Reynolds made light contact with the left rear wheel of Morgan any harder and that could have been catastrophic. As it was, they both lived to tell the tale and as they're fighting away, there's been another issue on the banking, three carts and still yellow flags being waved. In the midst of all this, Mark Litchfield appears in second place, having capitalised on the problems for Danny Curl and some other battles. Let's see the gap. End of lap number two, Brett Ward leads by 1.1 seconds from Mark Litchfield, who has just set the fastest lap of the race and is setting about his business, pulling away from the third place scrap, which is led by the 53 of Tom Sharp Reynolds. Josh Collings in the number 12 cart makes his move for fourth, passing Scott Mackerel. Mackerel gives Collings a nudge down the straight behind Mackerel is Bingham, Matt Davis, Derek Morgan getting roughed up a little bit now. He's lost another place to, you know, he hangs on in front of Matthew Hurst. Oh, and uh, the 70, the Coles Racing cart of Josh White. Is that, no, Josh Skelton, apologies. Getting in the mix. Harry Whitaker. oh dear, Harry Whitaker did so well in race one, is now cruising in, in the number 67, so that will be a DNF for Harry. Danny Curl is still out there, and he's actually picked up a couple of places. We've got Scott Hughes right down at the back, and uh, there goes Curl across the line in 31st place. He's got Frank Bird in front of him, then Aaron Mills, Jonathan Brown, and Matthew Armstrong. He's got six and a half minutes to go, so Curl will uh, be using the aggression that he has worked up, having dropped from fourth on the grid to uh, plumb last. Oh, and uh, somebody modifies the barriers coming out of the first hairpin. It's the number 96 KR Sport cart of Matthew Hurst. And that gives Curl another place. Number 26 down at the back, Stephen Burdus, the Doncaster-based driver. Meanwhile, while all that's been going on, Mark Litchfield has trimmed Brett Ward's lead from 1.1 to 0.38 of a second. And the inexorable pressure now be being applied from Litchfield to Ward. But Brett Ward is no pushover. Tough cookie is Brett Ward. Arguably a little bit tougher since Andy Potter got hold of him. Sharp Reynolds with a very badly damaged nose cone is third. And I'm not sure. Well, if there's nose cone penalties being dished out at the end of this one, then without knowing the, the full extent of the uh, damage... Tom Sharp is advertising his damaged nose cone very well. Fourth is Josh Collings in the number 12 cart and Scott Mackerel. And Derek Morgan trying to fight back ahead of Josh Skelton. Charlie Bingham fending off Charlie Lamb. Mark Litchfield has caught Brett Ward. He's in his wheel tracks. We've got five minutes to go. This is lap number six down towards the first hairpin. Litchfield doesn't duck out of... Ward slipstream into the first hairpin, but he looks poised going into hairpin number two. No. Ward breaks late enough to preclude an effort from Mark Litchfield. They're into the Fullerton S's, and uh, I, I know what you're all thinking. You're all thinking, how much longer does Brett Ward have at the lead of this race? 
And you're all trying to guess not much longer. Well, we shall see because Litchfield looks menacing. Ward is driving very well and his cart likes this circuit. There have been some tracks this year that we've gone to where the Mach 1 cart has just not liked them. There are other tracks such as this that the uh, German bit of engineering really enjoys and Litchfield still can't make the move going on to the banking. Now, will he make a late lunge into the first hairpin? No. Sharp Reynolds still runs third. Fourth is Collings. Litchfield not into the second hairpin either. Mackerel is still fifth. Looking a bit further back, Matthew Hurst after his spin is 31st. Danny Curl up to 29th. And Curl has now only just caught Frank Bird. So Frank Bird, inexperienced at this level of karting, has done a decent job of uh, keeping Danny Curl at bay for a short while. I think Curl will now make his way past. And uh, the leaders start another lap. And Litchfield looking as aggressively as, as, his, as he has done all race onto the banking. Brett Ward's not going to panic. Brett not deviating from his racing line. Probably thinks, why defend and just drag everyone into an unnecessary scrap? If I win, I win. If I come second, I still come second. And that's good points for me because Brett is having a good weekend so far. Litchfield. Well, that was almost classically poised for Litchfield to just sneak up the inside into the second hairpin. A sharp late turn in, catching his uh, victim by surprise, but he didn't. And there's Jordan Baines going wheel to wheel with what I believe is Fraser Rose, possibly, or maybe Joshua Thompson. It was Joshua Thompson in the number 49 cart. That is for ooh, 12th. We start lap number nine, and Brett Ward still leads. Round turns two and three. Now Litchfield looks at the inside going into turn number four. Clean and decisive. Doesn't cost them any time either. Brett Ward is able to latch onto his rear bumper and uh, Ward will well, he'll ask a few questions, but he won't force the issue. Collings has now made his way up into third place. Followed by Mackerel. Sharp Reynolds slips back to fifth. Derek Morgan is still sixth. Skelton is seventh. And uh, a good four-cart battle for eighth, being led by Saul Robinson in the number 72 Fusion cart. Charlie Lamb for McBarrett Racing. Jay Rudd for Evolution. And Charlie Bingham are next. That's your top 11. And uh, Pascal Pook, 12th. Litchfield with a minute to go. Leeds Ward by a whisker. Collings in third is three seconds back. And Collings has got his hands full with Scott Mackerel and Tom Sharp Reynolds. And into the first hairpin, you can see, oh, there's a move for, four, for third. And Mackerel opens the door, passes Collings. Tom Sharp Reynolds tries to sneak in as well. Collings covers his line and now Collings goes back on the attack. This is helping Derek Morgan to close in in sixth position. Behind Morgan there's a gap to Josh Skelton in cart number 70. And then behind Skelton an even bigger gap to the Robinson, Lamb, Bingham, Rudd dispute. The clock has struck zero. Yellow flags waving coming through turn four. Not quite sure why. Can't see a driver off at the side of the circuit, I don't think. Oh, there is a driver sat there, so there must be a cart there out of my viewpoint. Litchfield. Being asked a few questions. Ward is not letting him get away. But and that's the kind of respect that Litchfield commands. You, you, you can't just go putting in massive lunges 
all the time because you're just going to upset the man. Brett knows that. Brett begins his last lap sitting behind Litchfield through the Bruno Ferrari S's. Matt Cull is third, but is four seconds back. And Brett Ward will know that if he wants to have a pop at Mark Litchfield for the win, he's got no pressure from behind. And Litchfield defends a little bit going into the first hairpin, runs a bit wide. And now he's going to run Brett wide, very wide at Brett Ward, very wide at the hairpin two. Brett Ward keeping it pinned, but Litchfield defends going through the Fullerton S's. Into Bobby Game Corner, nothing happening there. Now the Mike Wilson complex. Mark Litchfield has just about done enough. Brett Ward has made him work. Checkered flag awaits. Litchfield takes the win. Ward second. We wait for third place. It is Mackerel third, Morgan fourth, Sharp fifth, Collings in sixth, Skelton seventh, Robinson, Lamb, Bingham, Rudd and Pascal Pook, your top 12. Josh Thompson on the MS car 13th. Then Marcus Petz and Jack New. Jack Leeson, Ewan Wilson, Jordan Baines in 18th place with Fraser Rose and Jonathan Brown, Ayrton Hurst 21st. The intrepid of Sam Wade in 22nd, Matthew Armstrong, Aaron Mills, Danny Curl got back to 25th and that tells me that all is still not well with that number 65 cart. Davy Shepard gets the end in 26th position with Scott Jackson, Frank Bird, Scott Simmons, Colin Smith, Stephen Burdus and Scott Hughes next. So 32 drivers finished. I think the number 96 of Matthew... Hurst went missing towards the end, and that is Matthew just sitting on the run down towards the first hairpin, now gathering his helmet and going to collect a somewhat forlorn number 96 cart. And so we now move the next.